Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, man. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, man, you guys know the deal on this channel, man. We must continue this LeBron James, the Los Angeles Lakers. They get a win last night against the Philadelphia 76ers. And once again, LeBron James is being carried by those very teammates that he was trying to get traded earlier in the season. That's right, guys. Guys like Anthony Davis and Austin Reeves and D'Angelo Russell, all these guys stepped up, played their roles, and once again, carried LeBron James out there. The Los Angeles Lakers have been off since Monday, guys. They haven't played a game since Monday. And here they go playing the 76ers at home. I told you guys, I'm not impressed with the Lakers winning these home games after having almost the entire week off, guys. We're going to talk about in this video, LeBron James once again is getting carried. And I want to thank you guys, everyone across the world, everyone across the states, man. Everyone who's been supporting my channel, man. Shout out to everybody in the Philippines, everybody in Canada, everybody in England, France, the Netherlands, everybody in Mexico, Serbia, everybody out there in the Bahamas, everybody in Puerto Rico, everybody in Trinidad and Tobago, South Africa, everybody in New Zealand, Australia. Shout out to all you guys out there, man. Poland. Shout out to everybody in Croatia. Just, yo, much respect to all you guys out there, man. I am truly humble, man. Shout out to everybody across the states. New York, LA, DC, Chicago, Texas, North Carolina, Massachusetts, Ohio. Yo, shout out to everyone, man. For real, man. Much respect, guys. I am truly humble. Everybody in the membership, shout out to all you guys. And you guys know what to do, man. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, man, LeBron James and the Lakers once again, they win all at home, another home win for Le LeBron James and the Lakers. And once again, LeBron James being carried by his teammates, the very same teammates that they keep telling us were bums early in the season, right? These guys were no good. He needs help. This is what they were saying early in the season. Meanwhile, what have I always told you guys? The reason why LeBron James always needs quote unquote help is because his teammates can never help him. They can never be consistent versions of themselves because of their playing LeBron, because they're playing with LeBron James, right? I told you he will never allow his teammates to really help him, right? To play an actual system, right? So that's why it always appears that he needs more help. Meanwhile, He's played with all kinds of help, all kinds of talent, and more the same. So once again, guys, like I told you, man, the Lakers were off since Monday, guys. They haven't played a game since Monday. Meanwhile, the 76ers played just on, on Wednesday, and they played again last night against the Lakers. The Lakers have been off since Monday, guys. Four days between their last game. And once again, they play at home, so I'm not impressed with this win over the Sixers without Joel Embiid. So once again, Anthony Davis was out there wrecking shop. I believe the man had almost 20 rebounds, right? I believe he had almost seven or, or eight offensive rebounds. I told you, they weren't just out those, those BS rebounds. Those were some actual good hustle rebounds. He had about seven or eight offensive rebounds in the game last night. LeBron James, eight rebounds. Zero offensive rebounds, guys. This is what I'm talking about with LeBron James. This is where he gets exposed, right? Lack of hustle from a LeBron James. Eight rebounds, zero offensive. But LeBron James did manage to gather and collect eight turnovers, though. Eight turnovers, guys. So once again, this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. LeBron James out there being carried and covered up by his teammates like he's been doing his entire career, guys. Once again, the Los Angeles Lakers shoot more free throws than the 76ers, right? Why wouldn't they, right? Because they had to cover up for all the turnovers that they had. If it wasn't for Anthony Davis on the offensive rebounds and on the boards in general and the other teammates stepping up and covering up for LeBron James' eight turnovers, I believe the Lakers had about 21 turnovers combined. He had eight of them, eight. So when we're talking about, you know, LeBron James' teammates stepping up, and I'm telling you guys, he's being carried out there. They shot about 10 more free throws than the Sixers, right? And it was because of guys like Anthony Davis out-rebounding the Sixers without Joel Embiid down there. Anthony Davis was able to control the glass. He had about four or five blocks last night also, and that covered up for all those turnovers that LeBron James had, the lack of defense from a LeBron James. Right, The guys like Austin Reeves and Hachimura covering up for LeBron James and D'Angelo Russell, guys, who broke the Los Angeles Lakers record for three-pointers made in a season. Right, That's th That record now is being held by D'Angelo Russell. He just uh, passed Nick Van Exel for number one all-time in Los Angeles Lakers history. Not LeBron James. LeBron James ain't there. Right? But they'll tell us that LeBron James' teammates are no good. He never played with anybody. Meanwhile, you got guys that he's playing with breaking records, breaking three-point records while they're playing here. Well, LeBron, I don't have no help. He ain't got no help. But he's been making shots all season long. 
while LeBron James has been low managing, standing around on defense, holding on to the basketball, shot jacking him, right? All this all season, his team has had the cover for LeBron James. And once again, they covered for LeBron James last night. Like I told you guys, Anthony Davis out there with like 24 points, 19 rebounds, seven of eight or, or seven or eight offensive rebounds. He had like four blocks last night. He was doing his thing. The other guy stepped up. I told you, they shot more free throws than the Sixers. And the Sixers did not have Joel Embiid, which we all know he's been out for quite some time now. So once again, the Lakers win a home game, which means nothing to me. I've told you guys, they're the only team, guys, in the playoff picture in the Western Conference that does not have a winning road record. They're the only team, even the Golden State Warriors have a winning road record, right? But the, the, the Lakers do not. The Kings have a winning road record, but the Lakers do not. Right? So when we think about these, I, I told you, they're going to have to win on the road. A good team, a contender, is good on the road, can win on the road. And the Lakers cannot win on the road. They haven't proven to be able to win on the road. So I've told you, they've been inconsistent all season long because they'll win one or two games and then they'll lose one or two games. So once again, they win last night. I'm not impressed by the Lakers, right? Now, this is their second win in a row, I believe. Or this actually might be, their, their, they might have actually lost the previous game and then they won this one. So once again, I'm, I'm not, you know, like I said, impressed with the Lakers with their two-game winning streaks that they've been going on this season. Guys, two games is not a win streak. I've told you that. It's not impressive. This is LeBron James and the Lakers this season. The inconsistent play of LeBron James, the inconsistent leadership from LeBron James, not allowing his teammates to help him to be consistent versions of themselves. Although these guys have been good this season, they want to trade a lot of these guys early this season but guys like D'Angelo Russell have stepped up guys like Anthony Davis have been there and have stepped up and have carried LeBron James Michael Jordan never had the luxury when he was on the Wizards you know you always hear the LeBron James fans love to talk about Michael Jordan on the Wizards as it relates to LeBron James in these last couple of years on the Lakers at 38 39 years old they want to compare some Michael Jordan's years on the Wizards but Michael Jordan never had the luxury of playing with an Anthony Davis type player Right? Or a lot of these other guys that LeBron James has played with over the last several seasons when he's been in L.A. He hasn't had that luxury of a lot of the plays that LeBron James has played with. Right, LeBron James has had free agents come in every single season. They've been making moves around LeBron James to get him more help. Right, Michael Jordan didn't have players requesting trades to come play with him on the Wizards. That's not how things was going down. Michael Jordan came back for a love of the game to help a lot of these guys to show them the way, give them the guidance, even though a lot of these guys did not appreciate it. But that's why Michael Jordan came back. It wasn't about the wins and the championships or him trying to chase more rings. He could have easily went back to the NBA and went and played for a San Antonio Spurs team or you know the Los Angeles Lakers or try to help the Sacramento Kings out to get over the hump. He could have done any one of these things, but he did not do that. He came back for the team that was not that good, that had no expectations. And somehow, some way, he made these guys a respectable contender for a playoff spot. Once again, Michael Jordan did not have, you know, the benefit or the luxury of a play-in tournament, right? If there was a play-in, the Wizards would have made the play in both seasons. I believe they finished in the number 9th or 10th seed, both seasons, right? So when they talk about Michael Jordan, they want to compare him to LeBron James. It's nowhere near the same. Once again, Michael Jordan was out there playing on both ends of the ball, 82 games, 37 minutes a night, more minutes than LeBron James is playing. While, like I said, galvanizing these guys who were nowhere near the level of talent of the guys that LeBron James has been playing with, right? So the comparison's not there. Let me know who Michael Jordan played with that was like an Anthony Davis on the Wizards. The comparisons aren't the same. Once again, Michael Jordan wasn't a, he, he didn't have the luxury of being able to stand around on defense with his hands on his hips and lollygag here and there and, and rest for offense. He didn't have that luxury. And that time, you had to play on both sides. He was hustling. That's Michael Jordan, man. He wasn't going to rest for, for, on defense for offense. That's not what it was about for him. A love of the game, a respect of the game. Once again, he didn't have the luxury of letting these guys or going out there and having other guys step up for him like this. All these guys have been stepping up all season long over the years. It's LeBron James who's not allowed them to be consistent. And then they want to keep saying how much help he needs. Remember, they were going to trade all these guys. They were going to trade D'Angelo Russell and Hachimura. A lot of these guys were in the trade talks, man. They were all in the trade rumors. Hell, they even talking about trading Anthony Davis. But what happened? Right, what happened? These guys continue to play the way that they've been playing. And all of a sudden, they, they once again, I told you, LeBron James goes out, they win games. And then they realize, man, we actually have a good team here. I told you, the, the Lakers had the sixth best odds coming into the season to win the title. Not to make the playoffs, to win the championship. They were contenders coming into the season. No one ever wants to remember these things or talk about this this late in the season. They want to act like, oh, the Lakers can make a run here late. The Lakers shouldn't need to be making a run here late in the season. They should have been in the fourth or fifth spot, the third spot. They shouldn't be fighting for a ninth or tenth seed. This is the laughing stock the Lakers have been since LeBron James has been there. They've never finished higher than seventh, guys, other than the bubble season. It's a joke. It's a laughing stock. But they keep telling us he had no help. He got help. 
Those guys have been helping. They've been stepped up. So you guys know the deal. Like I said, man, once again, the Lakers, LeBron James, they get a win over the Sixers. Good on them. Not impressed. What's their record? 38 and 32, 38 and 33. Like I said, man, not impressed at all with the Lakers winning another home game that they've been off all week. They were off all week, nice and ready and warmed up, you know what I'm saying, rested, waiting for the Sixers to come into town, and they get, they get a win over the Sixers. Like I said, LeBron James out there with eight turnovers, not playing a lick of defense, having Anthony Davis and the referees lead them to a victory. Like I said, shooting 10 more free throws than the Sixers did. Anthony Davis with like seven or eight offensive rebounds, like four blocks. Like I said, LeBron James out there. No, no offensive rebounds. Eight rebounds, zero offensive from LeBron James, man. Out there, just like I said, out there chucking up shots, not playing a lick of defense. You guys know what they're doing this channel, man. We must continue to set the record straight. Stop the lies and the narratives, man. LeBron James always had help. And this season, once again, exposes that notion that LeBron James makes his teammates better when he does not. Early this season, they wanted to trade all these guys, right? This is what they were saying. But we've seen many, many times when these guys have stepped up. When given the chance, when LeBron James doesn't hog onto the basketball, when LeBron James load manages, these guys step up. Anthony Davis has been stepping up. D'Angelo Russell's been stepping up. Reeves has been stepping up. Hachimura's been stepping up. These guys have been stepping up doing their things, man. It's been LeBron James, the inconsistent leadership, the inconsistent play from this man. That's been the problem this season. Remember, Darvin Ham was going to get fired too. What's up with Darvin Ham? Is he getting fired? Or is he a quality coach now? Remember, LeBron James never played for a good coach. No one gets any credit playing with LeBron James. None of the teammates, none of the coaches get any credit playing with this guy. You guys know the deal, man. This has been a complete joke this season. Like I said, the Lakers will continue to get referee help, shoot more free throws than anybody else, more foul calls than anybody else. And that's how they're able to escape with these wins. If it wasn't for Anthony Davis on the boards last night, playing that defense without Joel Embiid down low, taking advantage of these guys, LeBron James and the, and the Lakers getting the referee help. It wasn't for all these things going on. They wouldn't win a lot of these games, man. But they've been able to win a lot of these games due to those factors, man. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.